Blackstone Millville Regional High School, or BMR as it's commonly known, was built in 1969 as an upgrade to the Blackstone High School. BMR was built to house 900 students, which it did beautifully for the past 54 years. That's right, BMR is 54 years old, and it's showing its age. Most schools are built to be in service for 30 years, so it's not surprising that BMR is in rough shape. Let's take a walk through BMR to get a closer look at what a 54-year-old school looks like. Let's start by getting a look at the outside of the building. There's no shortage of cracks and drainage issues. As you come up to the main doors, you are greeted by the weathered steps that lead to the main entrance. Once you enter the doors, you are in the main office and nursing area, and right away you can see cracked doors, old carpets, and cracked floors. As we move into the upper B wing, we see the same issues, cracked floors, old windows, worn out ceilings, and some questionable vents. Moving down the hallway, you can see into a series of classrooms, which all have their own issues, from old heating vents to old windows, which have little to no insulation and proper safety locks. This floor, however, is not as questionable as the lower B wing. The lower B wing has sprayed on fireproofing on the pipes above the drop ceiling, in that spray is asbestos, which is also in the window caulking and the adhesive in the floor tiles. Right now, it is being appropriately managed by a state-assigned consultant. The air quality is good, but maintenance is not possible without closing the entire wing to contain the asbestos. And in this classroom, you can see the wiring that has to remain on the outside of the tiles. Again, the floors, windows, and vents are in the same questionable condition as the upper B wing and some of the rooms have little to no ventilation, which can cause mold and temperature issues. Another issue with these classrooms is the safety hazard of the vestibules that lead to two classrooms. As of now, an intruder has access to two classrooms by using one door. When it comes to the heating vents, the heating coils burn out, causing flooding or billowing smoke. Once this happens, the replacement parts are nearly impossible to find, as these are the original vents. Next, we move into the C-Wing. Again, cracked floors, old drafty and insecure windows. In the cooking room, we see old cooking appliances, a rough looking ceiling, and countertops that are in desperate need of repair. C-106, or the graphics lab, doesn't require any words. Today's world requires students to have a range of skills, such as engineering, robotics, and carpentry. And as you can see, the space we have is lacking technology, equipment, and again, showing its age. The section that connects the C-Wing to the cafeteria and gym is the only way for handicapped students to move about, and this is not fun in the bitter cold.
Going downstairs to the locker rooms, we again see floor tiles, railings, and ceiling tiles in need of repair. The boiler room, or the heart of the school, is full of equipment from 1969, which means the heating system is 54 years old, and you can see its age everywhere you look. Next to the boiler room is the boys and girls locker rooms, and everywhere you look, it is clear that these rooms have not aged well. Back upstairs are the science labs, which have been frozen in time and will remain that way. The lab tables cannot be removed, as the tile underneath is held together with asbestos adhesive. As we keep moving through the building, we end up in the cafeteria a space full of noisy vents and questionable ceiling tiles. Looking on the outside of the cafeteria, the brick is crumbling more and more each day. The last space to note is the auditorium, a space for performances and school assemblies. This room shows its age with damaged walls, old seats, and an ancient lighting grid. Right next door is the band room, which doesn't need any explanation. As you can see highlighted throughout this walkthrough of the BMR High School, there are significant repairs and upgrades needed. Our facilities report study identified the repairs and required improvements over the next 15 year period to total close to $60 million in 2019 estimates. After reviewing our application, the Massachusetts School Building Authority, MSBA, came in toward our building and accepted us into the pipeline. Note, we are one of 10 projects accepted out of 58 requests from across the state. The MSBA grant will cover a significant amount of the project, estimating around a 50 to 55% overall reimbursement. Our next step is to have our towns approve a feasibility study. The feasibility study team is made up of engineers and architects, the experts in the field, who will provide project options to the communities to review and ultimately decide upon. Note, the high school remodel project idea submitted to MSBA could change once this group reviews the structure and educational requirements. While we cannot determine the cost of the potential project at this stage, if we estimate a total project cost around $120 million with a 50% state reimbursement, that would leave $60 million for us to fund. So, as mentioned, there's around $60 million in required repairs to fix BMR. These are repairs to what is here, nothing new. Or we could spend that $60 million to have the high school remodeled and brought up to current standards. Again, it is too early to determine the specific cost of the project. We are just using an estimate. We have been providing top-notch education to our students, but it is getting harder to do in a 54-year-old deteriorating building. Broader cost impacts, including keeping students in our district, saving taxpayers money from school choice, and out-of-district tech schools. It is highly unlikely the MSBA will ever offer this highly competitive grant to us ever again. The time is now.